August 23rd, a proud day for all as the overturning of the old administration on Uprising Day on August 23rd, 1975, and the Declaration of Independence on October 12th, 1945, were two very important historic events for Laos after the country has been dominated by foreign aggressors for the past century. <laughs> Vientiane residents from all walks of life had gathered to overturn the administration at a rally held on August 23, 1975. The rally was full of contrasting attitudes of seriousness and fun. Some people sang songs while others held signs proclaiming the need to overturn the administration. Some also shouted out slogans about the need for change. Both events open up a new era for people from all walks of life as they gain awareness and joined in the fight against foreign aggressors for national liberation. According to information supplied by the party's Central Propaganda and Training Board, the triumphs were due to the excellent leadership of the Indochinese Communist Party and proved a victory for solidarity in the three Indochinese countries. The victory gave the Lao Party and Lao people increased confidence in their ability to fight against reinvasion by French colonialists and American interference. After the French colonialists lost the war, the Americans swarmed into Laos. The U.S. wanted Laos as a military base to block China and Vietnam and prevent revolutionary power spreading throughout Southeast Asia. On March 22, 1955, during a period of fierce hostility, Lao People's Revolutionary Party was created to fight against the U.S. for national liberation. The uprising process to overturn the old administration was started by 500 workers at the Gafa factory in Vingchen on August 23, 1975, when more than 10,000 people joined in. Soon after the movement to seize power spread into the provinces and a revolutionary administrative power was established. The movement proclaimed Savanakhet province on August 30th and Intakek district, Kamun province on September 1st. From August 26 to October, an aggressive force also took back the town of Samne and Huapan province. In no more than a month, the Lao people, in coordination with Vietnamese living in Laos, overturned the old administration and established a new revolutionary administration in a number of areas. Self-defense forces were stationed in larger towns such as Vien Chan, Ta Kek, Sawanakit, Sien Quang, Sam Nhe, and Nong Phabang. The Lao Isalat government was formed which declared to the world the independence of Laos on October 12, 1945. On that day, more than 20,000 people turned out to hear the announcement at the Vingtian Sports Stadium. The years 1954 to 1963 saw sporadic fighting for the protection of the two stronghold provinces of Pong Sali and Huapan. 1964 to 73 saw the revolutionary forces triumph in the strategic war waged by American presidents. From 1973 to 75, there was fighting throughout the country to secure national liberation. In 1975, a party central committee meeting planned the direction of the struggle for the final triumph of the revolutionary forces. This included three strategies, the uprising of the masses, the supporting of revolutionary forces, and the removal of enemy soldiers. Under the party's leadership, the number of people from all classes who rose up increased every day in both the enemy's governance force and the neutral zone. These included government officials, traders, monks, soldiers, and police 
who joined the revolutionary movement to overthrow the old administration. Significant events at the time consisted of the uprising of workers at Electricity to Laos in Vientiane, the 42nd day uprising by Nongbok district residents in Kamun province, the uprising students in Vientiane, and the separation announcement of Battalion 102 from the Vientiane administration to join the coalition government. In support of the mass movement, military forces moved to seize important areas in Vientiane, Savanakhet province, and Bakse district in Champasak province. On August 23, 1975, more than 20,000 people in Vientiane attended a rally to welcome the establishment of the Revolutionary Administration in Vientiane. This event was a show of force bound by solidarity between the people of Vientiane and those from other parts of the country and culminated in the founding of Lao People's Democratic Republic on December 2, 1975 and the removal of the royal regime. Uprising Day is a meaningful for all Lao people and is the fruit of the revolution. It was an achievement of bravery and invention, of three strategies for the seizure of governing power without the firing of a single gunshot. It was a triumph of correct revolutionary guidelines and the excellent leadership of the party through the application of Marxist-Leninist theory in a practical situation. It was also a triumph of solidarity among the Lao, Cambodian, and Vietnamese people who fought together against common enemy. The achievement was also due to the support of socialist countries such as the former Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and China. <laughs> Hãy subscribe